As Minnesota starts the last week of its spring practice, the Gophers look to build on a 2015 campaign, which ended with a win over Central Michigan in the Quick Lane Bowl. Tracy Clays takes over as the full-time head man after serving as the interim in Jerry Kill's absence a year ago. Gophers return a ton on offense, but lose some of their most talented players on the defensive side. Minnesota head coach Tracy Clays joins us now from our campus studio in Minneapolis. Tracy, as the Gopher faithful gets set to look forward to this weekend, what are you most looking forward to seeing from the spring game? You know, for us as coaches, it's more about the kids having fun and, and enjoying playing on that day is that, uh, you know, we pretty much have finished up our evaluations on Tuesday and Thursday as far as the coaching staff of what we want to see. And uh, I'm just a big believer in a spring game. We're going to split them up and let them compete against each other and have fun and, and really, you know, look for surprises. Kids to stick out who, uh, when it comes game day, maybe make some plays that haven't done as well in practice. For you individually, Tracy, what's been the biggest transition, the biggest change in your first go here as full-time head coach? Well, it's, it, it, obviously, it's the things outside of football. Um, and then, you know, on offense is that, uh, you know, the defensive staff, I still, most of those guys have been around and, and know uh, my personality and, and things that I think and, and, and believe in. And so I spend a lot of time on the offensive side of the ball and the offensive staff uh, right. talking through situations yeah. and things and, and kind of my thoughts and what I think. But, uh, you know, Coach Johnson's done a great job there of, of putting that together and, and he'll call the plays and be in charge. Um, and then, you know, after that, it, it's the, you know, dealing with the off the field issues. You brought up new offensive coordinator Jay Johnson. What has he brought to this offense? Well, I'll tell you what, he, he's awfully detailed and, and uh, you know, the ball control part that he does. And, and then, you know, the thing that'll change is, you know, the quarterback will have a little bit more control. Uh, over some things of getting us out of certain plays and and try to keep us out of bad plays we'll do that more than than what we've done in the past uh, but he's got a lot of energy out on the field and I, I think he's very detailed and you know the quarterbacks talk about the test uh, that, that he hands out to them uh, once a week and, and so uh, he's done a great job of preparing and, and trying to do everything he can so those quarterbacks are are in a position to be successful on game day well, how much have you been able to install effectively some of those new offensive principles when your main quarterback, the guy who we expect to be the starter, Mitch Leidner, still recovers from that offseason foot surgery? Yeah, you know, we probably got in uh, three quarters of what we need to do uh, for the fall. And, uh, you know, I'm one that, again, you know, the last five or six practices, you know, I don't let the offense or the defense install anything new because I think that's unfair evaluating kids that they have to get comfortable in what you're doing. And so we, we work to get about 75% of that stuff done uh, early on in camp so the kids can play and we get an evaluation of their abilities. Then we'll finish with the rest of the uh, changes and adjustments uh, once we get to uh, fall camp. Obviously, Shannon Brooks, Rodney Smith broke through at the end of last year. How do those two young running backs fit into an offense that we expect to have more of those spread elements this year? Yeah, no question. You know, we'll spread the field out. Uh, those guys, uh, you get them in space and, and they're tough to tackle. They're extremely talented. And between that and, and you know, tweaking a few things up front, and, you know, um, I, I hope that, that we can get them in space a little bit more. And uh, they both make very good uh, full speed cuts and, and, and just have tremendous vision. And, and so uh, I think the changes we've made have been good uh, uh, for, for our tailbacks. Tracy, defensively, how involved do you remain in terms of the day-to-day -day with new defensive coordinator Jay Sawville? You know, this spring I've stayed out of there for, uh, and, and the big reason is I do, I want the defense to take on those guys in the room, their personality a little bit and changes that they want to mess with. And, and I don't want to be stopping something or tell them they can't do it. I don't like that. And, and I said, so I want them to run the defense in the spring and, and what they think we need to do and what fits our kids best. And then I'll go back in June with them when they get off the road and recruiting and I'll watch all the video uh, from spring with the defensive guys then and, and, and we'll settle on, on our package. Finally, Tracy, I just had a chance to really take an in-depth look at your 2016 schedule. All three of your non-conference games at home at TCF Bank Stadium. Your Big Ten non-plays include Michigan, Ohio State, Michigan State. When you look at the schedule as a whole, how manageable do you think it is for your team? You know, the, the tough thing is, and, and I was all for going to nine conference games, but the tough thing is, is 
the years that you play five conference games on the road, it's hard to win Big Ten football games on the road. And just so happens we open with the five uh, Big Ten games on the road. So, uh, yeah, it, it looks a little bit more manageable, but you also we're going to have to win another game on the road. And then, you know, scheduling gets difficult in these years because you do have to find three non-conference games to come into your stadium so you can have uh, seven home games. Minnesota head coach Tracy Clay is kind enough to join us as the Gophers get set for their spring game this weekend in Minneapolis. Coach, truly appreciate the time. Yeah, thanks for having me.